uh, Oni with another beginner build for you. This one is focusing on specifically a filter that is free. So it doesn't require any power. It doesn't require uh, any automation even. It just does the job and it uses the sort of the mechanic of how gases work within oxygen not included in order to uh, build it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly through. So here's what it looks like. Um, here's what mine looks like. Now there's cleaner versions of it and our hi the hydrogen is sort of getting built up here. So I do need, I will be needing to fix that um, pretty soon. Um, okay, so let's go through all of the layers. Breathability doesn't matter. This is doesn't require any power to do this filter. So you see there's no power here. Um, the heat, I think it generates a little bit of heat maybe. Um, actually, I don't know if it does. Okay. Um, lights, don't need to worry about it. This is just functioning on its own. Water, it's not a big deal. Gas pipes, I'll save for last. Just wanted to show you guys everything. Decor, uh, germs, do doesn't matter. Room overlay, doesn't matter. No exosuits. This is an auxiliary piece. Doesn't have any radiation either. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what's happening here. So this is taking advantage of something called bridge priority which is essentially how these bridges and gas pipes uh, interact with, with one another. So in a very brief, why don't I just slow this down and walk you guys through it with just this clean, this clean setup. So let's just focus on this side right here, actually. So here, these gases are going into this pipe and being outputted right here. So they're being generated and they're getting sent here. So the electrolyzers will collect some hydrogen and the hydrogen somehow gets sent up this bridge to this hydrogen loop right here, whereas the oxygen doesn't get sent up here. So what what exactly is happening? Well, uh, this double bridge here is asking, hey, this gas, you check if you can go up here. That's basically what's happening. And if you can't go up here, then you just keep on carry on my wayward son. Um, so how are we deciding that only hydrogen is uh, every gas checks whether it can go up here, but only hydrogen is coming up here. How do we do that? Well, we created this little valve loop. So what this is doing is there is one. Let's see, there is in in inside of this pipe, there is one G of hydrogen gas that is looping over and over again. And that is using this gas valve right here, which is at one G's. See, set it to one G. So essentially what that's doing is it's creating a sort of drip. So this is sort of like turning the faucet on. Very, very small. So as, as we're doing that, it's forcing only the hydrogen, which I preloaded into this system, to come through and then loop around. Let's take a look at that again. So only one G of hydrogen is going through. So what's that doing? Well, gas you and on a single tile, you cannot mix two gases, but you can add to the gas that's there. The max on a single spot is a thousand Gs. So by forcing this to be a one G loop, we're allowing this hydrogen to join this 1G. And then as it comes around this loop and tries to go into this bridge priority, which is the valve, it gets denied because it's more than 1G. So a piece of gas, this gas comes up here, then tries to go here, but it, only 1G can go through. And then the rest gets outputted here. So this loop is always going to be running because it's always dripping 1G through. Uh, so as you're building this, what you want to do is load all of this with hydrogen. Make sure you have four Gs of hydrogen that are just flying through this. And then you can come and place them uh, to two bridges right here. Now you could do this with one bridge, but it's not going to capture every little bit. And the reason mine would, because this is on a delay right here, but it, you, you want it to be able to take this, uh, hydrogen here, 
let's say you had a full stack of hydrogen because there's already one gram here it could only take 99 so you'd have another gram here so what you want to do is if you have a full hydrogen that's coming through you need two of these in order to sort of execute on the loop um, plus visually it just looks nicer so uh, the other thing that you need to be doing is you need to make sure that your out bridge is on the right spot so for my build here uh, you can see a hydrogen snuck through because uh, we are, I think we're we're full. There's nowhere for it to go because this is this is currently full. So uh, you can ignore the fact that I'm dumping hydrogen into my base at the moment. I thought maybe one would be plenty for this, but um, it looks like I'm going to need a second hydrogen generator. So let's ignore that one for now. Just look at this. Um, so anyways, that's what the build is. So as you're sort of going through and building this, you want to make sure that right here, this white piece on the valve, this is going to be where your out is. You can't have your out here. Otherwise, you're just going to get a slow drip of, of the valve. Uh, what 1G, you know, but so but here, because this loop is going this way, you want it to check here and then it'll shoot out over here and then come back and around over here. Now, I didn't need to place this bridge here and that bridge here, but I did it for just my own understanding. Here is the out area before I had it connected just with pipes and it was working. Um, it was knowing uh, that, hey, this gas needs to come up here. This gas needs to come up here and then go here. It wasn't getting stuck here, but it sort of freaked me out that uh, I didn't have a clean bridge priority there. Because um, if I added like some more stuff to this filter, it, 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 it could break it. So anyways, that's the build. Um, and uh, here it is in action. And here's 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 a nice clogged hydrogen. So you see it's like clearly clogged and full. Um, and that's uh, why it's not taking all of these because this whole thing is is very much uh full as all heck uh so um but anyways i'll 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 go build another one of these guys and that'll sort of mitigate that so um you could also uh consider putting in if you wanted a sort of gas reservoir in here um to connect to your hydrogen so say your hydrogen did overflow you could sort of off switch this uh, I'm not too worried about a little bit of extra hydrogen coming into my base, uh, especially up at the top, because um, I'm about to sort of manually take care of all of that. So, um, or create a, a system for that in in a little bit. So, anyways, um, that is all. And uh, be sure if you want to watch me build this in real time, go ahead and check out the play along, which is linked in the description. Uh, and I uh, hope you guys have a good time playing Oni. Bye-bye.